It's in your will, O oh Lord. All things are established, and there is none that can resist, resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry that God did not carry out the evil he had threatened against Nineveh. He prayed, I beseech you, Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? This is why I fled at first to Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger, rich in clemency, loath to punish, and now, Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. But the Lord asked, Have you reason to be angry? Jonah then left the city for a place to the east of it, where he built himself a hut and waited under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. And when the Lord God provided a gourd plant that grew over Jonah's head, giving shade that relieved him of any discomfort, Jonah was very happy over the plant. But the next morning at dawn, God sent a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. And when the sun arose, God sent a burning east wind, and the sun beat upon Jonah's head till he became faint. Then Jonah asked for death, saying, I would be better off dead than alive. But God said to Jonah, Have you reason to be angry over the plant? I have reason to be angry, Jonah answered, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you are concerned over the plant, which cost you no labor, and which you did not raise. It came up in one night, and in one night it perished. And should I not be concerned over Nineveh, the great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who cannot distinguish their right hand from their left, not to mention the many cattle? The word of the Lord. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Glad the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my plea. Lord, you are merciful to me. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are merciful to me. Alleluia, alleluia. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to Lord. Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us and do not subject us to the final test. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Yesterday and today in our minds, we listened to the story of Jonah and Nineveh. Uh, today, although it is the optional memorial of Pope St. John the 23rd, I wanted to reflect a little bit about the story of Jonah because people often dismiss it. Uh, it can be dismissed as just a fanciful, imaginative story in the sense that they'll look at uh, the marine world and say, okay, what type of fish or whale could a man live in for three days and, and uh, come out unscathed? And they start looking at large whales or large groupers you know what and because they they, uh, they they really can't find something applicable they say well that's just a story you know it's nice it's no different from a fable by Aesop or one of Grimm's tales so we just blow it off and keep going others will look at the story of Jonah and the city of Nineveh, the conversion of the city of Nineveh. Uh, three days more and Nineveh will be destroyed if you do not repent. And they'll say, aha, by the repentance, it shows that the citizens of Nineveh changed God's mind. Well, that sounds nice, but if God changes his mind, does he still remain God? It's a good question, because you would think when we change our mind, we change it because we gathered some new information which was persuasive enough for us that we would make a decision differently than what we had had prior. So does an all-knowing God ever gain new information? Can he learn? No, God knows everything. So although God changed, uh, being, having his mind changed by the people may sound nice, it's, it's not applicable either. And so we dismiss the story of Jonah. But what if we took it for what it is? A story that conveys a message, a message of hope for all the world to hear. And that hope is that God cares for all of his children and that God uses Israel in the person of Jonah later perfectly in the person of his son he uses his son who can spread the message of God to the world to remind all the inhabitants of the world whether in the time of the Babylon's great existence, in the time of Jesus, in our time today. The message of love and hope that no matter where we are, no matter how far we have fallen, if we repent, if we're willing to try to give it the effort our God will support us. He will nurture us. And he will call us to himself. If we look at Jonah as that and leave the other parts as fanciful as they may seem, but take them and just put them to the side for a second. Look at the core message. Yes. Yes, it is a message of hope, conversion, and love. God loves all of his children. Specifically, God loves you and I. And that is a great message to rally around.
May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray for the Lord. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray for the Lord. Lord, we pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the repose of the soul of Greg Nolte Jr. for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, Mary full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. So I see you now today. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual fruit. Right to be God's prayer. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Father, pray for the word of his name. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with beautiful service, graciously complete the sanctified work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. 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 Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just for duty is our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father the most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word that we made all things, and we sent as our Savior and Redeemer. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining through all the people, is stretched out of time to see their passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the ages and all the saints, we declare your glories with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed one of the Lord's parts of all holiness. May holy therefore be given to you, pray that any one of you upon them might be the cross, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion, he took bread out of giving thanks for it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And they assumed aware when the supper was ended, he took the child. So once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the living eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the Lord and the resurrection. I may come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
I'm Louis Perez. I partake and know that the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the same as the man formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Lord, Lord of heaven, thou art be thy name, that our kingdom come, that our will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day thy daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us, and we us not our temptations, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, to await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your Lord, is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you too. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. To those who hope in him, to the soul they seek him.
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is in it. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Michael, God, 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 angel, defend us in hell. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you in the humble pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, trust in the heaven, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who are by the food of the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God, the true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament in the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the better faith. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy expanded conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most gentle spouse. Blessed be God, the angel, and his saints. 